Now here, we're coming up here to part two, because I got carried away talking about God answers prayer back in part one. Um, but, you know, we don't know if an hour from now, life as you know it, will change. And so, my iPod slipping here. Oh, well, we'll just let it slip. And so, <clears throat> what are we going to do? What kind of changes? Well, some of the stuff that we hear in Saudi Arabia is they're afraid of Iran getting a nuclear bomb, and so they want to buy some. And nobody's going to sell them to them, but China might. China's hungry for oil, and they want some kind of a secure source of oil. So Saudi Arabia's gone talk, talking to China and says, you know, we'll supply you with every single speck of oil you ever need up to 2035 if you'll give us some nuclear bombs. Don't know the answer if they said, yeah, we'll give it to you, but there's two sources got what each other wants really bad. And we have prophecies that are coming to light that is talking about a billion something gonna be killed. And we got, we got, when we're reading, it looks like that Islam is growing so fast. Is this gonna be taking over the world like they want? If, if, when we're looking at Revelation, we don't seem to see that the, any place in the end times that it is a scenario that shows that there is a religion such as Islam that's taken over the world. And so, at the rate that Islam is growing, do you think that they're going to take over the world after all? I mean, here in the United States, it's, it's almost shocking. What is happening in these past decade? You know, it's got in phases in the United States. I, I talked once about, about uh, when, when the boat people came from Vietnam. And, um, and I got a lot of Vietnamese friends and, and had a lot and, and uh, lived with them for quite a while, uh, for years and years and years. And so I, I, I know the story about, because they came over on the boat, wall-to-wall -wall people on a boat escaping Vietnam and coming here. And masses amount of them came here. And what did they do? They built their communities. They built shopping centers. They, they you know, they, they weren't any uh, weight on us. They, they didn't go to welfare and all this other kind of stuff. They, they increased the tax, tax uh, revenue considerably for the government and so forth. And uh, they keep places clean. And, 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 you know, the most part, it wasn't a bad thing. The problem is... We are letting, at that time, a ton of another religion into the country. And so, what does this mean? When we, we're supposedly a Christian country, but yet we allowed to come in. Out of the wonderfulness of our heart, great, praise God that we're so good and helpful in the world. But we let a massive amount of another religion to come in and set up their worship in the United States of America. Huge communities, because so many of them came here escaping the overtaking of communists in Vietnam at that time. And uh, we don't hear a whole lot about that, except we all know the Vietnamese communities, and some of them... Uh, I went to a huge shopping mall they have down in Southern California. It's pretty amazing. Um, but now we have a different uh, set of circumstances in the United States, way back there in the 70s. And at that time, when I began preaching in the 80s, I um, referred to that, that what's it going to mean 
to have such a massive input of another religion into the United States. And, you know, this is some 10 years later after they've been coming to the United States. Nothing religiously, uh, Christian-wise, has ever been done in these groups to bring them over into Christianity or that any kind of a collaborative movement in prayer in under biblical conditions to beseech God here we're so nice we brought these people over here but they all bring their gods with them what are we gonna do when well, nothing was really done except in small pockets here and there many of them has come to Christ and so forth but what's gonna happen well God tells you a few things when when you allow other gods to come in. Now that doesn't mean we didn't have other gods all along, but now we have a huge input. So, you know, as time, you know, before the the we've had a lot of immigration that was that was Christianity as as such. All, when the founding of America and everything, most immigrants had a good strong. Uh, Christian background and all the other religions were just small pockets here and there. But then we have recently, in late 90s and early 2000s, an influx of Islam into the country. That now, what we never saw before, before we never really saw all the Asians, except that we know the part of town to go to to, to see the Asian community, but now with the influx of the Vietnamese community, they're pretty, you know, the, 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 today it's saying that actually the Asian community is practically larger than the Latino community. Hard to think of it that way, but we don't hear that much about them because they're usually a more prosperous group of people and take care of themselves and not a burden on anybody as such. Now we have a new set of people, Islam, because we had two major wars. We had, we had one that's sort of over with, we think, in Iraq, and we're still continuing in Afghanistan. So now we have, now we go anywhere in the world and we see the, because this is the appearance, the, the, with the Vietnamese input, or other Asian countries, you can't see it because they didn't really particularly dress any particular way to indicate their religion, just like Christianity. You really don't know a person's a Christian by looking at them unless they want to wear, put a sticker on their car or a patch on them or something like that, or try to wear a big cross to say, look, I'm Christian. Um, we don't have any facilities that, in the workplace that we can have a few times a day to go off and pray. Because we have this other thing. We're supposed to pray without ceasing. So 24 hours a day when we're awake, we're supposed to be praying, you know, talking to God. Uh, but now we must allow space for other religions to take their required prayer time. Now, I'm going to go into part three next.